All right, see Lindelof videos. Finding a critical finding critical numbers on an interval using a trig function. So we have this question to find any critical values of f, given that f of x is equal to sine squared x plus cosine x on the interval x is greater than zero, less than two pi. We just want to remind you of some interval notation. If you have rounded parentheses on intervals, it means the out these things are not included. If I did this. If I did this, if I made them square, it would mean that they are included. So they're saying in this particular problem that these values are not included. So every value between them is included, but not those two values. The, so the first thing I know is that critical values occur when f prime at x is, is equal to 0 or when it's undefined. So the first thing I'm going to do is start trying to find f prime at x. So as I do f prime at x, I'm going to look at this sine of x as if it was sine x squared. <clears throat> So if I take the derivative of sine x squared, I will get 2 sine x times the derivative of the inside. And the derivative of sine x is cosine x. So this is the entire derivative of this. Be careful here that you see this is a chain rule problem because of this square right here. right? And this is not x squared. This is sine squared x. So here we go. This plus sine is this one. And the first derivative of cosine is opposite sine x. So there we have our derivative is this. So here's our whole derivative. And what I'm saying to you and what I'd say to my AP reader is that I want this thing to equal 0. So I'd say CVs equal F prime at x equal to 0. So what I am going to do here is I'm going to factor a little bit. And I'm going to take out... Uh, I'm going to pull sine out here, so I'm just going to rewrite this and say f prime at x is the same as sine x times 2 cosine x minus 1 equal to 0. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to look at my unit circle. And if you have your unit circle, you know what, I'm going to put you on hold for a second, and then I'm going to find my unit circle on my, on my laptop. Hold on a second. All right, so I actually went and found that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use zero product property because I want to know when does sine of x equal zero. And I also want to know when does 2 cosine x minus 1 equal zero. So quick algebra here. I want to know when does cosine x equal 1 half. So remember, and I have to keep in mind that we're on this interval. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go figure out, I'm going to go look at sine. When does sine equal zero? So here we are. Sine is zero at zero and and two pi. However, that's not on our interval, right? We're looking at the interval zero to two pi. Neither value is included. So sine is also zero at pi. So I have pi as one of my values. So pi. And now I want to know when does cosine x equal one half. So that's true at pi thirds. See, here's the cosine value one half. And at five pi thirds. And at five pi thirds. So those are my answers. This actually worked out pretty good. So we have pi thirds, pi, and five pi thirds. So this is at pi. This is at pi thirds and five pi thirds. So our critical numbers are, so we can say now with some certainty, our critical numbers are pi thirds, pi, and five pi thirds. All of those numbers are inside the unit circle, or inside the unit circle, inside 0 to 2 pi, not including 0 or 2 pi, and they all cause this thing to go to 0. I'm, I am going to go back and take a quick peek and make sure that this thing is defined everywhere, and it is, because cosine and sine are defined everywhere. So those are my answers. I hope this was really helpful. Um, if you haven't already uh, subscribed, please do, and uh, lift shits.